And now, Silicon Angle TV and Wikibon.org present a focus spotlight. Live from Las Vegas at VM World 2011, host John Furrier and Dave Valente illuminating the Open Data Center with support from Intel and EMC. Intel Inside. Okay, we're back. Uh, VM World 2011. This is theCUBE, siliconangle.com and siliconangle.tv's The Cube, our flagship telecast, and I'm here with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of wikibon.org, and we're here with Rich Raider. And, and Rich, Rich, you're going to show us. I'm sorry, is it Raider or Raiden? Raiden. Raiden. Sorry, I can't read my own writing. Uh, Rich Raiden, and he's got uh, some very interesting demos to show us. Um, let's see, if I understand it, you've got a PowerPoint that you're going to show us, a video demo, uh, and an iPod, uh, iPad demo of um, an example of the cloud builders in action, right? Sure, a little less glorious. No, no PowerPoint today. So no PowerPoint, just the okay. uh, video and, uh, and a bit on the iPad. Okay, let's see it. What do you got? Sure. Uh, so uh, this is a, a quick example of our integration with Oxygen Cloud. This is an EMC Atmos integration with Oxygen Cloud, and as I said, it's a cloud builder's reference architecture. And what we're going to show here is uh, authenticating on two machines. Uh, the, what you're looking at is actually a Windows XP desktop with a remote desktop connection into a Mac. Uh, we've authenticated into Oxygen Cloud on the PC side, uh, and we're going to do the same on the Macintosh side. And we're going to show uh, the uh, collaborative uh, capabilities of Oxygen Cloud. Think of, think of this combination of, of product as the ability of file services in the cloud. So we're authenticating to both, and we're going to show how you can do some real work. The example here is a single user authenticating to two machines, but this doesn't preclude th this from being a group of people who would be working together on uh, a single or multiple files. So we've authenticated into both environments, and we're going to show a real world scenario where there's some uh, edits of files. And what we are actually looking at right now is how this is presented on both operating systems, a map drive on the PC on the left, and a folder structure on the right on the Macintosh. So in this case, we're actually going to go into a, uh, uh, we're going to do, share some sales material. Uh, it's questionable if uh, sales material, but uh, we're using a, uh, an example of an image. It's a image of uh, our friend Lady Liberty, uh, and we're going to upload Lady Liberty into the cloud. And you'll notice there's a, a cookie on the bottom left of that icon, and it's showing that it is being encrypted and uploaded into that public cloud. And the interesting thing about Oxygen Cloud and Atmos is this could be run in either a private, a public, or a hybrid setting. All of this is running on Intel architecture on both the front and the back end here, in the case of the PC, Mac, as well as the servers on the back end. That checkbox indicates that the file is ready and it's uploaded. So uh, the ability to upload into the cloud and share is uh, somewhat mundane and not that exciting. Uh, we want to do some work, uh, some collaboration. Uh, so, uh, we're doing the retrieval on the Macintosh client on the right, and you'll see through, uh, through the Macintosh interface, uh, we're going to be able to view that same, uh, that same object. Um, so that's interesting alone, but we want to do something to that object uh, that is of value to this uh, particular uh, example. Uh, so we're going to do a, a slight edit. In the Mac, uh, the, better, the naturally better graphic uh, environment, uh, we're going to do a quick uh, crop, and you'll see that uh, taking place in a moment. Uh, and so we're going to crop that object, uh, and then we're going to share it back. Again, uh, this can be uh, collaborative across just an individual uh, with multiple devices, or this can be collaborative across groupware. So the crop is then executed. Uh, and we'll start the process of uploading back into the cloud by saving this particular object. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, this is happening on the internet. So you'll, you'll again notice there's a, uh, some time as it's uploading to the internet, and this is internet speed. There's a difference between local NAS type files that are shared collaboratively on a uh, business network versus objects that are going to be shared collaboratively in the cloud. Uh, so here, that cookie's indicating the encryption and the upload, uh, and when that cookie is turns to the green checkbox, uh, this will be complete and then ready. Uh, so if you recall, we've edited the file, we've made a, a slight crop, uh, we've uh, cut Lady Liberty, left her, uh, her head intact, uh, and as that uploads and now it's complete, uh, we'll go back to the other side. Uh, the thumbnail is going to remain the same, but we'll now open that object and actually show that this collaborative effort has been completed 
uh, and it's effectual that the change was actually made on the cloud and shared back down to uh, the Mac to the PC client. Um, so, in and of itself, this is interesting. Uh, one of the other uh, nice aspects of this collabor of this uh, solution with uh, Oxygen Cloud and EMC Atmos is that this can actually run uh, on mobile devices. Uh, so it can run on Android, it could run on iOS, uh, and I'll actually um, show uh, a slight example here of where we are with that. Uh, hopefully I can be seen. Uh, and, and basically, uh, this is a, a simple example of showing that uh, this particular object can be shared because these are uh, a common, this is a, a common login for, for all of these. And, and then this object will be here as well. Hold on for a second, we're get the microphone. I want to get the microphone so we get this on there. Sure, so uh, essentially that object is now identical in multiple places, a, a PC, a Macintosh, as well as uh, a, a mobile client. So what, do you, what did you have to have on the iPad to be able to enable that? It, so Oxygen Cloud has clientware that uh, works for both uh, PCs, Macs, uh, iOS, and Android, uh, and, so, uh, and web as well. Uh, so this is actually just a, uh, a simple uh, a simple client that will allow you to access these same files. Just like, like any app on a, on a mobile device. Absolutely, download it through the App Store. Okay, so break that down for us. What happened, what's the magic behind the scenes? You walked through the demo, pulled up the iPad, just... Sure, so the magic on the back, on the back end is the uh, Atmos Object Store that's living in this particular case in a, in a public cloud. Uh, the Oxygen Cloud uh, application software that's also living in this public cloud. Uh, and these clients. Um, and when I said these are living in the public cloud, that is just one option. This can be done as a complete private cloud scenario. And the consideration there is uh, people like that sync and share, Dropbox, Box.net like functionality, but not everyone's comfortable with data in the public cloud. So this is a solution that offers flexibility to be public, private, or hybrid, uh, where the storage could be uh, contained within the company's four walls, or public cloud and same for the application portion. In, in, in theory, I could, uh, in practice, I could create a service like a, like a Dropbox and I could offer that to my you know, private cloud users and, and, and build an infrastructure up front around that. Right? A absolutely, and uh, in terms of the privacy aspects of this, this is something that uh, if it's within your four walls and you're running it within your data center, uh, then uh, that is something you control as an enterprise. It's your cloud own it, John. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think the key thing that people are concerned about right now is the data aspect of it, right? Because, you know, putting things in the cloud has been contentious in public cloud, but people are comfortable. But having options, I think, is what we're hearing. Um, can you just talk a little bit about that? You mentioned that. Sure, so uh, both, uh, both uh, solutions that are being shown here, uh, Atmos as well as Oxygen Cloud, uh, are sold to either enterprises or uh, can be instantiated in a uh, service provider setting. So uh, Atmos can be bought and contained as a, an enterprise customer can buy this. Uh, they can license the Oxygen Cloud software and run this entirely privately in-house. Uh, or uh, they can keep the data in their four walls and leverage the Oxygen Cloud service, which is running in the public cloud, uh, and basically uh, do a mashup between those two. So it's quite flexible. How do they get some information on this? Is anyone inter interested in seeing this in more in action, getting more information? Is there a URL, website? Sure, uh, emc.com slash Atmos, uh, as well as Oxygen Cloud, and I believe it's uh, referenced in the Intel uh, Cloud Builders reference architecture section. I don't have that URL to memory, <laughs> uh, but on Intel, if you Google Intel and uh, Cloud Builders, cool. you'll, find, you'll find this. And that's a detailed documentation as to how to actually build out something of this nature, is uh, that right? Uh, yeah, much more than this segment allows us to uh, go into, yeah, yes. Great. Well certainly it's a hot area, obviously doing that kind of magic or actually software and hardware working together in the clouds is what people are looking for. Well, Rich Raiden, thank you very much for coming on and sharing those demos with us. Uh, good luck and con uh, congratulations uh, with this uh, new vision of the future. Thank you very much for having me.